Hello, this is an explanation what are discrete Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform, how they are used and how they can be calculated by using DFT Android application. Purpose of Fourier transform as well as DFT discrete Fourier transform is to transform input signal analog or digital to sum of sine and cosine coefficients. Fourier transform decompose analog signal into sum of sine and cosine signals on frequencies that are multiplies of main frequency. Formal definition of Fourier transform for integrable function x of t is given in complex form. In engineering practice, analog signal that is transformed with Fourier transform has to be periodic. If signal is not periodic, but limited to certain time interval, signal can be repeated, so formally can be treated as periodic one. In that case, cosine and sine functions in the sum that represents input signals has frequency of n omega zero, where omega zero is angular frequency of mains. Amplitudes of cosine coefficients can be calculated as given. So, however, for DC component, Fourier cosine coefficients is a given. In here, we do not need to multiply with 2. Since DC component is average value of a signal, and that's why we'll multiply only with 1. Amplitudes of sine and cosine coefficients are given as follows. DFT EI discrete Fourier transform is Fourier transform adjusted to digital sampled signal. In case of digital input signal, analog integral is replaced, replaced by finite sums. DFT DC cosine coefficient is just an average value. Discrete Fourier transform coefficients can be used for signal compression signal processing in frequency domain and signal interpolation. To calculate DFT or inverse DFT you can use Android application. In here for DFT just press DFT button. Here. Then enter your signal as an array with comma separated values in text view next to X of T label. Then press calculate button and see result for cosine and sine coefficients respectively. For, for IDFT just press IDFT button in the first act uh, activity and then enter cosine and sine coefficients as two arrays respectively with comma separated values. Then just press calculate button to obtain your result. Note that array size of cosine and sine uh, coefficients must be the same.